welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. Today I want to ask the question, do you really need another electric guitar? I mean, I always feel like I do, right? But maybe you don't. Maybe you should take a little time to explore what each of your guitars can do. Now last week I was talking about how I had really harmed this guitar. I knocked it over 10 years ago and the neck got horribly cracked. I got it fixed, of course, and it's been playable ever since, but I still have guilt about it. And I thought, well, that's not cool, you know, to feel guilty about this guitar and not play it because I feel guilty. Not a good thing. So here it is. This is really a beautiful guitar. It was only $250, uh, but it really sounds great, plays great, and I know you likely have guitars like this, guitars that are neglected, that you haven't pulled out of their case in a while. Sometimes it's worth pulling one out, and in this case, I really wanted to compensate. I said, I don't want to feel guilty about having broken this guitar anymore. I want to use it. Let's see what it'll do. So I decided to record three different tracks of this guitar to really explore what kind of tonal range it has. And it was fun and really simple. And lo and behold, I had kind of a nifty little track that I want to share with you. Stick around, you're going to hear what this guitar can do and maybe find out why maybe you don't really need another electric. So this really beautiful Les Paul copy is a J Terser JT220D. These are not expensive guitars. This is very heavy solid it feels a lot like a gibson to be very honest it's beautifully finished there's no problem with the frets or anything like that of course it has this neck gash my fault but i thought what could this guitar actually do you know if i give it some love when i picked up the guitar the very first thing that came into my head for whatever reason was this now that is the intro to sunshine superman by donovan from 1966. So I started messing around and I laid down a percussion track and played along with it. And to get a kind of a country edge to it, I popped it into the treble position, you know, dialed up the, the uh, tone a little bit. I used some compression, a little bit of treble boost, uh, some tape delay, and put it through a tweed amp and it sounded like this. <laughs> So when I layer guitars, I like to have counterpoint, and sometimes that can be rhythmic counterpoint, sometimes it's tonal counterpoint where the guitars sort of work with each other and it has interplay with each other. In this case, I wanted to use the same guitar, right? This is all about this guitar. See what it would do if I gave it a little bit of drive and if I put it through a very vintage reverb kind of a tone. So I just used some drive, some tape delay, tremolo, one of my favorites, and put it through a Fender Blackface amp with the onboard reverb. So I really like those tones and you know I knew I could play them off against each other and I thought well what's missing? Of course the melody. I would, I'd been thinking I was going to sing the melody. I decided forget it. Let's have the guitar play the melody. So I did a lead track, same guitar, just put on a little bit of subtle fuzz, tweed amp again, a little compression, and then I wanted it to kind of be big sky so I used uh, delay, flanger, and phaser. <laughs> They're pretty subtle, but check it out. And just to give the whole thing some bottom end, I pulled out my 57 reissue Fender P bass, made in Japan, killer bass, and laid down a bass part. Sounds like this. So some percussion, three guitar parts, all from the same guitar, and a bass. 
when that all comes together, you know, what do you get? I'll tell you, when you take a guitar that's been a little neglected and ignored, and you ask it, hey, what do you want to say right now? You get something like this. So here's the thing, I'm not telling you you shouldn't get another electric guitar, just to make sure you're giving enough love to the ones you already have. That's key. You know, if you're feeling that gear acquisition syndrome, that gas kick in, ask yourself, maybe there's a guitar I haven't picked up in a while. And you know, sometimes I go to my own set of guitar cases, I'll pull one out and go, it feels like I'm shopping. It's like there, it feels like a new guitar because I haven't played it in a while. And you know, these guitars, when they're sitting in their cases, they're feeling a little lonely and they have things they wanna say. So pull out one of those neglected axes, give it a chance to breathe and to talk and to share some beauty with us. All right, thanks for being here. Appreciate you taking the time to like, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't before. Go to guitardiscoveries.com. That's where you're gonna find all my videos. Guitars, gear, accessories, recording techniques, vocals, you name songwriting. <laughs> I've done a lot of stuff already with a lot more to come. So I hope you spend some time there. I always appreciate you spending time with me. Thanks so much. Cheers to your music.